Hello, and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Eclipse Vox, using the On The Fly Dictionary, I'm going to show you how you can use the On The Fly Dictionary to make sure that words that otherwise might not be recognized by your speech recognition engine will come out correctly all the time in Eclipse. The content of this video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keys. In a previous video in the series, we went over how to set up the dictionaries in your user setting and get all the dictionaries imported into Eclipse for voice writing with Vox. If I go to my user settings and click on the dictionaries button, you see that my on the fly dictionary is still assigned in slot one just like I need it. Since this is already taken care of in all the previous steps, I don't need to do anything else in order to start using my on the fly dictionary. I'm going to press OK all the way out of my user settings. And since there isn't any special setup that's involved in this, I can go ahead and just hit the real-time button to start a real-time file. I'll press OK to my speaker list. And I'm going to choose my voice model, and once it's finished loading, I'm going to toggle my microphone off so that I can show you how to set up the on-the-fly dictionary. I've toggled my microphone off. And in order to set up the on-the-fly dictionary, it's a good idea to have it open and available so that you can look at it while you're writing and be reminded of which entries you have assigned to which voice code. So what I'm going to do is press the dictionary button and then choose the on-the-fly dictionary and press OK. Right now, I have 15 entries in my on-the-fly dictionary. All of these TRAN1 through TRAN15 utterances were trained in the previous steps in the series. And so what I can do is use TRAN1 through TRAN15 to insert into my document whatever text I insert in the dictionary here. I can customize the text in the on-the-fly dictionary for each job as necessary. I'm going to reorganize this a little bit so that it's a little easier to see. What I'm going to do is make the steno column shorter. I'll go to Window and choose Tile. And then I'll go to Window and choose Tile again. And this puts the two windows next to each other so that I can see them both. And what you can do at this point is adjust the size of each window. If you don't need to see that much of the dictionary, you can make it a little bit narrower. And this way you can see both files at once. What I'm going to do now is start writing a little bit and I'll show you an example of something that Dragon will not be able to recognize because it's not a normal part of speech. Keek, what is your name? CAC, my name is Ashley Van Dyke. Keek, where do you work? CAC, I work for Reeve Gold in Family Associates. Keek, can you say that again? CAC, Reeve Gold in Family Associates. I've turned my microphone off again to pause input into my document. And here you see that I said Reeve Gold in Family Associates twice. However, it recognized it as different phrases each time because those words simply aren't in the Dragon Speech Recognition Engine. So what I'm going to do is assign that company name to TRAN1. So I'll type in the company name. And once I have everything that I'd like in here typed in, I can press OK. And you see that now my TRAN1 entry is assigned to Reeve Gold in Family Associates. And so now, until I remove this entry from my on the fly dictionary, I can use the utterance voice code TRAN1 that I previously trained to enter the Reeve Gold in Family Associates text. So I'm going to turn my microphone back on in Eclipse. Keek, where do you work? CAC, I work for TRAN1. And you see that this time I was able to simply say TRAN1 and get the correct translation that I entered into my on-the-fly dictionary. The on-the-fly dictionary can be used for any type of text like this that would not ordinarily be recognized by the speech recognition engine. Since these words aren't normal parts of speech, the recognition engine isn't able to drop them appropriately. In the cases of uncommon company names and people names, 
The on-the-fly dictionary can be your best friend and allow all of those entries to be easily translated for you. Using the on-the-fly dictionary to get consistent translation results during your real-time work will also greatly reduce the amount of editing and corrections that you have to do once your real-time file is over. With an entry like this, it's possible that the speech recognition engine would drop it any different dozens of ways. And so each of those entries would need to be individually corrected. However, by using the on-the-fly dictionary, you can ensure that you can always use the utterance for TRAN 1 through TRAN 15 and get exactly the text that you've provided to the dictionary every time. Similar entries could be made into your job dictionary to correct simple formatting or perhaps common misspellings. However, for words that simply aren't recognized by the speech engine, you can enter those into the on-the-fly dictionary to ensure that you get consistent drop-down results. Thank you for joining us in this video about the on-the-fly dictionary in voice writing. Using the on-the-fly dictionary will become second nature with practice. It's an important dictionary to learn the usage of and become comfortable using. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day!